All right, let's get this party started. Uh, English. Subtitles on, enemy outline red. Uh, may switch this up later. All right, I think that's good. Uh, continue. It was a time of great adventure and danger. Shunned by his kin, an illager wanders the land, seeking a new home. But all he found was hatred. Driven by rage against those who wronged him, he wandered blind to whatever end. Until at long last, the Illager found something that would change him forever. The Orb of Dominance. Corrupted by evil, driven by vengeance, the Arch Illager made all bow before him. And if they did not bow, they would fall. The Illagers raided the land. Who would have the valor? The purity of heart to stand against the Arch Illager's reign of terror. Well, not that one. But maybe you. Production quality is top notch. Um, who are we gonna be? Who am I gonna be? Um, God, I don't like any of these character designs except for this one. This one looks nice. All right, let's go with this one. Online game. Um, Alright, so let's go check out the uh, settings here. View controls. Okay, so where is my controller here? Alright. So. Ah. Display. Okay. You know what? Let's let's try this with the controller. Traveling to Squid Coast. The village is burning. No doubt this is the work of the evil Arch Illager and his minions. They sweep across the land like a ravenous scourge, subjugating or destroying all in their path. This is a time for heroes like yourself. Make haste. The villagers have need of you.
So I can't enter buildings, but I can fight. Alright, my sword is effective in close combat. So I gotta time my attacks here. Alright, wait for them to come to me. I'm not missing anything here. Alright, anything over here? No? Okay. So I have a vague idea of what I'm supposed to do. A small bundle of arrows. So, you can shoot with, uh... Okay. That's, uh, potentially frustrating. Wait, so you mean to tell me that it's easier to easier to just uh, use the controller? That's potentially frustrating. Uh, not gonna lie. Alright, let's see what's over here. See if there's anything over here. Anything? No. Okay. Alright, so... That is, uh... Okay, so using a controller is easier. Good to know. Alright, so killing monsters gets me EXP. Alright, so my right button allows me to, uh... roll. And oh god, I have an arrow sticking out of my head. Oh, that's unpleasant. Alright. Praised axe people. Uh, I believe they're called illagers. Alright, supplies. Regeneration for 30 seconds. Alright, which way do I go? Nice statue. Honestly, this place looks really nice, and clearly I have entered a trap. <laughs> Enchantment point. Alright, so it allows me to enchant gear. Um. Let's take a look at what enchantments there are. Poison. Not sure how effective that will be, but we'll wait and see. Fireworks arrow. Four of those. Save those for uh, later. Is 
So pressing X will now allow me to use that. All right. All right, so that allows me... Okay, so I can roll across this. That's cool. Honestly, this is a great game. I'm impressed. All right, let's see what's over here. Oh, hey, there's a sheep. Can I uh, shoot the sheep? No. I just wasted an arrow there. Anything over here? No? Like, I keep looking for, like, extra hidden stuff, and I'm like, uh, no, there's nothing here. Okay. So, that's a thing. Alright, this is totally a trap. You were too late to rescue the villagers, but don't fret. They're still out there somewhere waiting for a hero to find them. So this is a pretty interesting, uh, game. Okay, we open a chest. What do we get? A fishing rod. So let's see, what do we got here? Alright. You know, this reminds me of, like, what... That, like, Pokemon Island game thing. Default, Adventure, and Apocalypse. So there's multiple game modes here. So let's take a look at all the uh, stuff in our surrounding area here. So I believe this is like a damage testing area. Alright, this is where we, uh... Okay, so this is basically just a camp. Uh, what's in here? Oh, so this is our house. Okay, so we have a house now. Very nice. Um, honestly, I wouldn't mind living here in real life. It's actually kind of nice looking. Alright. Let's uh, go on another adventure. Alright, into the Creeper Woods. Start mission. Alright, so... This is a campaign-style game and not a generic dungeon crawler. Okay. I didn't really know what this game entailed. I saw Minecraft and I'm like, uh... I wanna play it. By the Arch Illager's decree, all free folk are now enemies of the Illager Empire. Somewhere in these woods, a caravan is transporting villager prisoners to labor in far-off lands. Find the caravan, and stop the illagers, or there's no telling what dreadful doom will befall our villager friends.
Alright, so the music for this game is fantastic. I am very impressed. As well as the voice acting. Didn't expect this game to come with voice acting. Alright, we'll let them come to me. If I let them come to me, uh, I have the advantage of, uh, basically outsmarting them. And being able to adapt. So I'm guessing this is a lot more, uh, freeform than, uh, other Minecraft games. But we can't see anything under here. So, you can't change the camera angle. So, potentially, like over here, if there was an enemy, you wouldn't be able to see it. So that's good to know. Okay, so there's also a cooldown on the roll. Crap, I took eight damage there. Alright, now we gotta deal with the onslaught. Rests with uh, wooden armor. Okay. Let's uh, go ahead and uh, take on the problem we encounter here. Attack it. attacks are a thing. Alright, uh... What am I supposed to do with this? Do I... explode? Oh, oh! Right trigger... blows it up. Okay. Right trigger throws it to blows it, blow it up. Okay. Thank you for uh, clarifying, game. So all in all, I gotta say, uh, this is clearly a trap right here. Sorry, Mr. Sheep, but uh, duty calls. going in the right direction anyway. But I'm getting rewards, so it's okay, right? Sword, 10 to 16 melee damage. Alright, so the question is, do these break over time? 
Because if they do, that suck. Alright, looks like there's nothing over here. So this is basically just the bonus area. Okay. Alright. Like, I'm actually pretty good with this whole, uh, R3 thing. Even with a controller, it's actually really easy. Because it tells you when you're on target. So you gotta make sure to charge your attacks whenever you do anything. Oh, you can open a map. Oh. That's some helpful advice. Thank you, game. God, I wish I had known about this earlier. So we're going to have to, uh, do some, uh, sniping here. Oh, interesting. The, the, the block formations here are shaped like a creeper. Okay, that's nice. I'll make sure I'm not missing anything over here. Enchantment point. Um, no, it costs two enchantment points. I only have one. Um, we'll go with snowball. It sounds like a ridiculous achievement, but, I, I mean, uh, enchantment, but, you never know. Temporary stu temporarily stunning my enemies may save my butt at some point. No, 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 what, what is going on here? It accidentally, uh, put me into my inventory. Like, what the heck, man? Why would you do this to me?
Oh, hey, an axe. Oh, that's cool. We'll go with the axe for now. Alright, place of entry supplies. Alright, that's cool. Finding nifty little things here and there. Like, I get a tiny amount of EXP for every enemy I kill. So... That sucks. Oh well. Alright, upgrade my bow. So there's a number of different enemies over here, and I figure uh, if I'm going to do anything, I might as well uh, make sure I get as much stuff as possible. And I missed a villager all the way over here. Alright, there's one. need to find the exit. So, my inventory here. All 
Alright, yeah, I know this is not, this is definitely not the way to the exit, but in this type of game, I presume that, uh, going out of your way to find new things is, uh, a good idea. Besides, I found, uh, fancy stuff. Although that bow is, uh, not really worth it. exactly where we need to be right now. Alright, we got ourselves a speed potion. take advantage of that by, uh, just killing everything. <laughs> Alright, so I do, I did note that the, uh, speed potion, uh, changed my FOV temporarily. For a place called the Forest of Creepers, um, there's not a lot of creepers. Am I the uh, first person to point that out? Nothing over here? Okay. yet, so clearly we're, I don't think we're even close to finishing the dungeon, dungeon yet. Alright, so I think my new, like, order of operations for the time being is pretty much uh, not to spend any money, uh, I mean, any uh, of the enchantment points on uh, enchantments until later on. Yeah, so now we know where the uh, escape objective is. Alright, so that sword is just as bad. Oh, hey. There we go. But I'm also very aware of the fact that... Uh, So 
I think I am right about uh, these optional sections just being <coughs> something you're encouraged to explore, not required to. Like, I think the rewards are better if you uh, take your time and seek things out. Okay, uh, this is clearly a trap. So you're limited on when you can uh, use those health potions. Just to make sure I don't miss out on anything. Clasp of the Illagers, all thanks to you. A death cat mushroom. Wow. That's, uh, pretty bad. Anything else we can do around here? All right, so Island Realms. Oh, okay, so these are all mission based. So you level up by playing more. Okay. Now I'm getting the hang of this. All 
Alright, so I guess there's not much else I can do here. Uh, can I, like, uh, sell my random stuff? Uh, So each of these provide provides a different set of missions. So each of these, uh... Alright. So, have we done this one? Um... What is my uh, current power? So theoretically we should be just good enough to do that. Okay. So I will be right back.